All right, in this video, I wanna share my perspective on how Web3 technologies, such as cryptocurrencies, the blockchain, smart contracts, etc., will improve the quality of the internet. Now, in short, I think it will allow us to start sorting content based upon value and merits instead of upon what grabs the most attention, okay, or what is the most popular. So what do I mean by this? Why is this important? Well, here's the thing. The easiest way to monetize on the internet today is with advertising, okay? It's frictionless, it's easy, right? You put ads and, and that's how the majority of sites, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all these things, they monetize with advertising. The thing about advertising is that it creates a financial incentive to grab attention and not necessarily to deliver value. Okay, in some cases you can have somebody who's delivering value and grabbing attention, but at the end of the day, the name of the game if you wanna maximize revenue is just to grab attention. Okay, and the easiest way to grab attention is with outrage and fear and scandal and all this kind of stuff. And it, so it's why you see all of kind of the way the news and articles are filtered today, right? You have clickbaity titles, scandalous things, all sorts of stuff that's just, in many cases, it's just totally fabricated, it's just total fake news. And the reason that can exist is because there's a financial incentive for it. There's a financial incentive to grab attention. There's not necessarily a financial incentive to deliver quality content. So if, and this is my sort of prediction, I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna be true, but if there was an easier way to pay on the internet, okay, with cryptocurrencies, where you could actually pay the content creator directly instead of, you know, having this weird agenda where it's like, oh, I'm going to grab attention and then we're going to put ads in here and we're going to somehow make money, okay? Just if instead of doing all that weird stuff, if you just pay the content creators directly, and maybe it's with microtransactions where it's a fraction of a cent, sometimes it's a cent. Maybe if it's a quality piece, it could be a dollar, 25 cents, multiple dollars. Like, I don't know exactly how it'd play out. But if there was an easy way to pay directly for content on the internet, because right now, like, how do you actually pay for content on the internet? Like, maybe you go to a news site and it's like, oh, you have to subscribe to this thing and it's $10 a month, but you only want to read that one article. You don't want to have to subscribe to the newspaper but it puts up this paywall and you're like, ugh, and it's like, and then you have to type in your billing address, your name, you're not sure if your credit card's gonna get compromised, right? There's so much friction in actually paying for content on the internet. But if with cryptocurrencies, you know, just for small purchases, so we don't interfere with like weird tax laws and money laundering and all this kind of stuff, but if for small purchases, you can just pay a fraction of a cent, 25 cents, a dollar, whatever, for content directly without having to give up your name and billing address and all this kind of stuff, then what we could actually do is start incentivizing quality content, okay? And what that will also do is content will start to be ranked upon by value. In other words, whatever is the most expensive piece of content that is actually getting good reviews you know is going to be the best piece. And so instead of filtering through all this junk, you could just go to what's the most expensive. It's like if you go to any store uh, and you go to the Apple store and you're like, if you want the best phone, well, what's the most expensive phone? And of course, you know, assuming it's not fraudulent, then you know that that's gonna be the best phone because it's ranked based upon value. So if we could have an easy way to pay on the web and we're paying for content directly, then we could start ranking things based upon value. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is that we can also start ranking things based upon merit. So what do I mean by this? Well, here's the thing. There's this TED Talk by Ray Dalio, which I, uh, I'm gonna pull up on the TV behind me. And um, he has this brilliant TED Talk. If you don't know who Ray Dalio is, he's one of the most successful investors of our time. Okay, and he has this brilliant TED Talk, which is how to create a company where the best ideas win. Okay, and we could use those same principles to create a internet where the best ideas win. And what he found in his organization is that the popular vote, okay, what, what's popular or what most people think is not always necessarily what is right. 
okay? But today on the internet, we rank things based upon popularity. What gets the most likes, what gets you know the most views and all this kind of stuff. But what he shows in this organization is that you have to rank things based upon people's merits instead of upon the popular vote. So what he does is he has all, his, all these people, let me pull it up, I'll just show you. But he has all the people in his organization um, sort of vote on different questions. Like, what do you think is gonna happen if the Federal Reserve does this? What do you think is gonna happen if this person gets elected, so and so, right? And then the people in his organization vote on what they think is gonna happen. And he collects this history of their answers and how accurate they were, okay? In other words, what is their batting average of um, being correct or what is their believability and then he uses that to then rank things um, with a weighted average and so you can get the answer let me go and show you and it'll make a lot more sense instead of me trying to explain it okay here we go okay so here we go so this is I don't want to have the sound. I don't know about copyright or something. So Okay, but anyways. So he asked the organization a question. This is the popular vote, right? So four people voted for no, 13 people voted for yes. So on the surface, if you're ranking things just upon popularity, you say, oh, well, then obviously the right answer is to go with yes because more people voted for that. But what he has found is that what is popular is not always necessarily what is accurate. And so... What he does is he has a way of calculating each of these people's what he calls believability or their merits. How accurate were they in the past? What is their reputation? And then he'll rank the score based upon that. So this is the believability weighted average. And so even though you only had four people vote for no, it gets 81% of the voting power because they have a track record of being correct more often. Okay, everybody still gets to vote and their votes are recorded in history so people can improve their believability. But the answer at the current time is based upon people's uh, past you know, accuracy. So everybody has fair chance to improve their believability, but you know, the answers are not just democracy where everybody has equal voting power. Imagine if you're asking like a group of people about, you know, what should be the direction of what we take with software? And you have everybody in the room has equal voting power. And my grandma's in the room, Bill Gates is in the room, um, all sorts of software engineers. My grandma, I love my grandma, but my grandma does not know much about software. And so she should not have equal voting power as Bill Gates, if you're asking a software question, right? So. There needs to be ways of ranking people's believability or their merit if we want to have the best ideas rise to the top on the internet. And I think that with the blockchain, where we have this like Akashic record type history of people's you know, actions, then we can, and I don't know exactly what it'd look like, and I'm sure there'd be different ways of calculating it, but there might be some way of like calculating people's uh, reputation or like what Ray Dalio has or believability and then we can start sorting content based upon uh, those types of votes all right so that is my prediction of how web3 technologies are going to improve the quality of the internet I think they'll allow us to rank content based upon uh, value because we'll have an easy way to pay for content and then we can see which one is worth the most and which is the most valuable and then secondly, it will allow us to sort content based upon people's merit, because on the blockchain we'll have this Akashic Record-like history and we can see who has the best reputation. Okay, so that is my predictions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one.